Well, hello and welcome once again to the Mars Mission Mission News Network, bringing you all the latest news from LEGO Legacy Heroes Unboxed. We have a decent bit of updates today, uh, some stuff that got announced I mentioned yesterday in yesterday's news video about possibly being announced then, but that got announced today. A little bit later than they normally get it, but uh, oh well, they went ahead and got it done today. So they technically got in, I guess, by next Friday. Well, if you count next Friday as before next Friday, I don't know. They got it to us. It didn't come in at least Saturday. So the biggest thing, well, first things first at least, uh, maintenance on a Monday. They announced, uh, this was actually in game. They didn't post this anywhere on like the Discord, which I kind of maybe wish they'd add that on there. But I guess you get sent out to all the players in game, so it's not really that bad. But it basically just says, we've got scheduled maintenance coming up on 06-15-2020, which is this coming Monday for people, I guess, in similar time zones where the company's based at. At 11.30 GMT, LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox will be temporarily unavailable due to server maintenance. So they don't really say how long this is going to be. Or what are they going to do normally when they do server maintenance? They also run a script to remove inactive guild leaders. And maybe some other just regular inactive guild people. I can't remember if it just removes everybody or just the guild leaders. I would expect that to happen then at the same time. Uh, more on related stuff to this in the third bit of news. But now on to the next <coughs> bit of news. Which is kind of the biggest thing. I was actually wrong by that. That's the third piece of news is the biggest thing. Although this is also, I guess, kind of big. A uh, new double event schedule. They released a new set of double events uh, starting today. So probably by the time you've seen that, that might already be off. I guess maybe depending on your time zone. Uh, although for me, it was already running. But uh, the Mr. Sticky Squares himself posted, We hope you are enjoying our double daily event mania we have another week of them coming up and we hope wanted you we hope you wanted to see each day to see what each day will be. okay it may make sense of that yourself so uh june 12th which is today bill is 101 and peg treasure Okay, so we get another Pegalix treasure at least. So that's nice. Uh, tomorrow is Missing Materials and Book Learning. So not too bad. Missing Materials... Uh, yeah, Missing Materials actually is a really good one. I was thinking of the Gorewell one. I also kind of consider that material. Book Learning is decent. Needs scrolls, so it's not too bad. Uh, June 14th, Bad Tour and Builders 101. Not too bad. Builders 101 events a little bit lacking compared to the... Uh, Oh, sorry. Never mind. Builders 101 event is really good. It's Explorers 101 that's a bit lacking. Builders 101 has a couple of nice figs, personally. Uh, having Ash, Brutus, and Lloyd all available is pretty nice. Those three are a little bit harder to come by. And then June 15th, Gorwell's Great Escape. So not too bad. Uh, missing Materials. Awesome. So I'll probably be training up my space figs, personally, for Gorwell. I, I want to get a little bit further in with that. Uh, June 16th, Explorers 101 again, and Bad Tour. Actually, sorry, Explorers 101 is the first time we have that. Uh, and then we have Bad Tour. Then we have Peg Legs Treasure again. Like it's the standard time. I'm assuming the one on the left is the standard when you those normally run. Then we get Goals, Great Escape, and then Book Learning and Explorers 101. So, I mean, not too bad. We just get double the number of them, double the Peg Legs Treasure. Uh, so my gold income goes from six hundred thousand dollars or six hundred thousand coins in one day, so technically uh, one point two million to two point four million. I'm happy with that. Other extra materials, pretty solid. So that is, I say, a decent update. I mean, if we don't actually get like a new event, I'm happy to have some double daily events. Get you stuff. Most of it's usable. I can't say all of it's usable. Maybe bad tools not, cause like you max out a set, you can't get master tiles from it right now. But oh well. Uh, we also have a new character announced. Uh, we have Mr. Sticky Squares himself. What's this? It seems a new minifigure is making the Pip Town arrival. 
This one-of-a-kind edition might not have any muscles, but sure packs a punch. And you guessed it, who's about to join in on the fun? And then he later revealed is Jabba the Hutt. Though he did spell Hutt wrong, because I believe it does have two T's. But anyways, the official announcement is this. Hey everyone, who is this? It seems a new minifigure is making the Pip Town arrival. This one of a kind edition might not have any muscles, but she'll pack some punch. Any guesses on who's about to be about to join in on the fun? That isn't it though. Come back Monday morning for our summer spook date, which I'm assuming is an update, patch notes, and fun out about what else you can expect in this spooktacular update. So, patch notes on Monday. This minifigure will arrive when the summer spook date is released very soon. A new minifigure approaches. It's a skeleton. I can confirm that based off of people's discussion on the Discord, people more to know than myself, because I don't personally follow along with data mines, there was a skeleton in there for an actual character. And I am. It's pretty clear that that is what this is. At first, I thought this was just kind of like a super generic. Oh, who could this be? It could be anybody. Oh, yes, yeah, a skeleton. But I don't know. It's a Pokemon X-ray form type deal. Whatever. Who's that Pokemon? Oh, it's an X-ray of a Machop. Something like that. But uh, apparently, it is actually a, just a skeleton. And I guess that's what we're getting. Just a skeleton. Uh, which I guess kind of confirmed that if they do keep on doing this, we will actually get the silhouette of them. But, I mean, I guess this is just more defined. Because you could just get, like, a basic minifigure. And just be like, that could be anybody. But, this is a skeleton. So, I do want to go ahead and throw that out there for news. Based off of what has been said, if we do get more teasers like that, it apparently does actually show who it is. Because I at first thought this could just mean... Anybody, a new minifigure, okay. The show is skeleton, but I mean, that could kind of be anything, but it fortunately just a skeleton. Well, that's not too bad. The other thing is, is interesting because in the creator content package files, you have all these images here. I just assumed it was for generic skeleton enemies. We do have, though, the, the bust in the middle there. Ones for all of these skeletons in game, but I just thought like maybe it's just those without the armor on in case you wanted it. But you have a thing for tiles, and you have the minifigure portrait, like the portraits you have for your avatars in game. So I mean, I guess this was your clue. I just kind of thought this was just generic. There's also a disc uh, emote on Discord, which I believe is the tile over the top right. But uh, I, mean, I just thought this was just something they gave you because. I mean, it's skeletons are enemies in the game, but no, apparently this is basically what we're getting. Uh, and then also, as some final confirmation, Monday is the patch note. And indeed, a server maintenance, not the update yet. This one is also soon, though, but not that soon. Smiley face, parentheses. So, Monday we'll get the patch notes, and we are going to get a server maintenance, not exactly update, but kind of update. I mean, I guess you update some stuff when you do server maintenance. But you're not actually getting the update. So don't expect anything on Monday. Just more news. So with that, that's out of the news section. And now it's going to be my thoughts on the news. I'm going to try to divide it up like this going forward. Give the actual just the news and then my thoughts afterwards. So my thoughts here. Uh, as I said earlier, it I really thought the skeleton here was just kind of like a tease, could be like a generic or whatever, <clears throat> could be any one of the skeletons in the game, could actually be all of the skeletons in game currently, it's just showing you this, but from what I gathered the skeleton is actually a basic skeleton, it's not like it's just a skeleton missing its gear it has, it's just kind of the basic skeleton. Interestingly though, it does have the new arms on it. like. Fairly new arms. I do believe that is actually the Ninjago arm piece there for the skeletons. So that's third generation 
on piece because you had the original ones that was super floppy and it wouldn't hold straight. Then you had the ones from Castle 2007, which was just a straight arm piece with no bend to hold out the weapons in front. And then you got this one with Ninjago, which is, I mean, a really good piece. And I think they've kind of used it ever since. So I think that is interesting because from what I heard from some of the people that are more in the know about data mine, I don't want to really go and mention and talk too much about data mining because like, it's okay and it it's not untrustworthy, but things can change. I really won't report anything that could change. I mean, things have changed in this game. Wu has changed tags. I'm not saying that really did too much, but I mean, they could have updated some stuff based upon that. Apparently, you have his full kit and everything out there, but like, I I'm a whole off on any of that stuff because it's to me too iffy. I feel like that stuff is too likely to change to really report upon it, so I don't really follow too much of it. But with this, they have said that apparently it's a support, which I think is interesting because it packs a punch, but I mean, I don't know, all the supports are like the best damage dealers in this game, so I don't know. I mean, you have, let's see, Redbeard support, DigiJ's support, I guess not really the best hitter, but... I believe GoGo is a support, like, the support tag is kind of stacked. I wish we didn't get another support, but oh well. Uh, he's tagged uh, a builder. He's tagged Spooky, which, I mean, really makes sense. I mean, it's a summer spook date. <laughs> he's also tagged Castle. Okay, so a skeleton castle, sure. Most of the Spooky stuff is kind of Castle. I mean, I guess that's not true. Half of it is, because you have two Fright Nights and you have two collectibles. But, like, okay, it feels like it's decently enough could be a castle sub-tag. He's also uh, tagged as Pirate, according to them. Uh, which is interesting. I guess it would be, like, the classic Pirate Skeleton and Castle Skeleton, because that appeared more in those than, let's say, like, Space and the other stuff, and Ninjago Skeletons are special. So, uh, it's supposed to be our classic pirate, or classic skeleton minifigure that appeared both in Pirates and Castle, which would be interesting. It would be our first, like, dual main tag fig, which would be cool. I mean, that's a big change, and those people on Discord were like, I don't believe that. Why would they do that? That's a big change. I mean, if you're going to do any of the, like, collectible space or castle minifigures, or pirate minifigures, those would be dual tags. Any city space sub theme figs would be city and space. So you do kind of need at some point to have some dual tags in. So that would make sense. I can see the skeleton being a cool, unique one for that. So I did just want to mention that. Although, sadly, when I first heard about that, my original thought was this fig from Castle 2007. He was like a pirate skeleton captain, which also this is the arms I was talking about, the straight stiff ones. Uh, I kind of thought that, because he's always kind of piratey. I mean, he didn't have a gun, it was still like a medieval thing, but he had like a ghostly pirate ship that was raiding, a, like it's not a village, but like a dock. I kind of thought of him immediately, but no, it's not him, it's just kind of generic skeleton. I think it is interesting if he's supposed to be like the classic skeleton, and he has the newer arms, I guess kind of makes sense, but I do, I could see them adding in the old arms and it's still working, and I think that would be a cool feature. Uh, so I'm kind of a little surprised about that, although maybe that was just the portrait they had, I don't know. I don't know if any of the data mines actually had like a good look at the fig, I think it was just mostly the headshot, but that could just have been the headshot we already have, I don't, I don't 100% know that. Uh, I am surprised he does look kind of generic. I mean, I guess he could always get accessories or something. But I am curious to see what he actually looks like in-game. Because right now he looks a little, a little bit bland. But he could have some of the coolest skills in the game. And I don't just mean, like, good skills. I mean, skill things that make a skill good to me. Like, it looks cool. Hake is no top-selling pirate fic. He's not game-changer. He doesn't do too much for them. But I love his skills and the animations for them. That makes me really want him. You could do awesome stuff with a skeleton minifigure. Also, you could do a uh, the 
pirate, not pirate, uh, the skeleton horse. I don't know, maybe someone's there. I don't know, something related to castle. It's just to see with ca castle and pirate, you can do a bunch of cool stuff there. I really hope he has an ultimate. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing what he actually does. Because I can see him maybe being one of my favorite figs. Uh, pirate's not too up there for me, but pirate mixed with castle sounds pretty dang cool. Uh, it might really appeal to me. Somebody else to put on a castle team. I'm kind of assuming this might be like an unboxed fig. It feels like we've been a while since we had one of those, and I don't know. This almost feels like an announcement for that, or I can see this easily being an announcement for those. Brick Pace would be awesome. Yeah, I said that correct. Big brick Pace, not Brick Space, or Brick Space. Brick Pace. Uh, but I kind of feel like we're going to get some unboxed events before we get like another new one of those, because it's kind of been a little while. Uh, they hadn't confirmed this, and this could be like a one that's just added to the game regularly. I know they are doing a whole update around Spooktacular, uh, which sounds kind of cool, so I'm kind of assuming Basil going to be added in, because Basil hasn't been in the game yet, uh, available, so it would be really cool to finally get my hands on Basil, be able to use him. I guess you could use him with Willa, but like, nobody really has her, so... Yeah, but that might give me a reason to actually get her, if I can book have her in the team with him because he kind of relies on her or she relies on her. I don't know, too much synergy there to not have like one of them. I'll go for one. Uh, I mean, I like, have to really worry about that. I can't do that myself. But I assume you'll get him because he's the only other spooky fig in the game right now. Be cool if it maybe do a couple other ones. I'm also kind of curious if this is going to be like Castle because spooky to me kind of feels like Pathway a Castle like sub theme, and maybe another Friday night. I don't know, just a basic soldier probably. Although I wouldn't mind a couple more basic, like infantry men for Castle. But they're kind of a little lacking there. I wish we had a little bit more. But some interesting possibilities for an update here. Uh, I mean, I guess it is based around Spooky, but I did kind of wonder if this means we're getting a uh, castle next. Because one thing that I did actually forget to put into the presentation is uh, Waff saying that don't let your dreams be crushed. Space and city, no, space and collectibles will be getting updates for them, which I guess does technically leave out city but I realized that left out castle and I was like well castle could use an update too does that mean castle is getting one with this I mean this is a castle fig and it will be on the builder team so we'll be paired more with castle figs and the pirate figs most of the pirate figs or I think all the pirate figs are on the explorer campaign but I do think that is kind of a little interesting idea I would love it uh, castle update. Space needs updated a whole lot more. But I also genuinely really like Castle. So them getting updated wouldn't be that bad. There's lots of worse things they could do. Like, I don't know, update pirates again. Although technically they're updating pirates, which is kind of odd. But I mean, this. Them mentioning that about how classic pirates and classic Castle both had the generic skeleton in them makes sense. It's not like it's one or the other more so. You had them both equally in each. So it fits there. I think this uh, whole update sounds kind of cool. One new fig. I like the little tease here. I like the... I don't know who's that Pokemon or new challenger approaches. For, like Smash Brothers that sort of like teaser. It's cool. I'm glad they're doing some more stuff. I don't know if they're like allowing Waff to do too much. I, I don't know all stuff he's allowed to do on his own. But uh, you keep doing this. This is nice community engagement. I find it very fun. I can make videos around this all day just jamming on about it. But really, with that, that's kind of it. We're getting more daily double events. Which I do like how that was kind of an announcement, but it already carried over. I mean, I guess you didn't know when it was going to end, so it's not like that much of a surprise, but it's kind of like, oh, I thought we were kind of still having some of these. I, I was surprised to hear that today was included, even though today had already started by the time they got up, but I guess it takes a little while to make these graphics. Uh, I was a little shocked about that, but I'm always happy to have some double events, especially if we're not actually getting a regular event. 
a new update is coming soon, which should have, based off yesterday's news, the woo screw fix in it, hopefully. Uh, so I guess the Scarlet bug will only be in the game for like another month and a half then, maybe two months. If we're getting like, it kind of feels like maybe a week out from Monday, maybe two weeks out would get the update. I don't know, they haven't officially said, but I don't think Monday is kind of a good day for an update, or before the game to update, and they did say it's not yet then, so, you know, I f feel like it's not too far off, and we'll get all the updates uh, stuff about it. hopefully we'll get like a new event schedule and everything, but I'm personally really looking forward to this, has me kind of pumped, and you know, double vents is a good way to keep me uh, tied over, and... A good way to make me uh, want to go ahead and upgrade my city fix. And let's see, the other. Well, I guess that's kind of the last. Well, city and cast. Uh, city and space. But I do space anyways. But it's a nice little way to encourage you to do that because you're seeing that event run more often. That, well, if I just invest a little bit more in my city fix, I might be able to get some of those green elixirs too. And I can get more income of that and upgrade some more stuff. It's a nice little tease in there to make you want to go ahead and do it. But with that, that's really kind of it for the news update. We've got that. Maintenance happening on Monday. Update on new stuff Monday. And then eventually at some point a new update. And at least one fig tease. So, awesome. Keep this up. Really happy about this. Hope you have enjoyed this news. Hope it has been helpful. Uh, hope you kind of watched the way all the way to the end, but I know sometimes my rambling can kind of ruin the news part of the news. So I hope this is useful or as a better format, although I guess if you don't like me rambling, you're not going to be here at this point. But if you still are, feel free to leave feedback in the comments. Tell me if I'm doing this right. Less rambling, more rambling, rambling in the middle of the news stuff. More facts, less facts, opinions, whatever. Uh, and I'll try to throw them in here. If you, I, mean, I guess if you're interested in, in mining, um, you might can twist my arm and make me do that. But I really don't want to talk too much about that. But, uh, it's a little iffy there, personally. Uh, but yeah, with that, this is Matoor Gripley signing off. Goodbye and have a wonderful day. And I hope you've enjoyed this new news broadcast. Goodbye.